Hey there YouTube, uh, just a couple, this is going to be a really short tutorial um, on some basics of SolidWorks. Let's see, this is, uh, the I believe it, it's the 2012 to 2013 version of SolidWorks. So this is what you have to get when you first open up the screen. So we're going to go ahead, go to File, New, or Control N for you shortcut users, which I am, so let's not argue about that. So New, start out with a new part, hit OK. And this is the screen that you're going to get, most likely. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I like to start out, uh, most SolidWorks do either start out with Sketch for your basic applications. So you're going to go ahead, click on Sketch. Um, we're going to do some basic extrusions today. So let's just go with a nice little circle. Pick your editing plane. I like the top plane because I like to extrude upwards. So we're going to go ahead, click on the top plane, hit the space bar, and select a normal to orientation. Note this red bar, this is your origin. SolidWorks does this great job of just using this, finding a data point, and moving out from it. See how that's perfectly uh, collinear? Great. So let's go ahead. We're going to make that the center point of our circle. And it does this job of like you know changing its size and letting you know what it is. So perfect circle, nice and easy. We're going to go ahead and click on Smart Dimension under the Sketch Properties. Click on it anywhere along the line. And let's set a diameter. Um, let's uh, let's say a three inch diameter. Perfect. So go ahead and hit OK. Note that you have all these to tolerances that you can add on there. Um, we will get into that later on. Um, so go ahead and hit the check mark for OK. Note that, that we have this, so if we just want to leave the sketch, we leave the sketch. Then you can get back into that by double clicking the sketch, uh, the actual sketch object, or by right clicking. Um, and hitting edit sketch. So we're back inside and now we want to do a really basic extrusion. So what we're going to do go to features, you're going to hit the extruded boss slash base button. We do that, let's say, okay, so it's about three inches wide. Let's make it a little bit longer than it is wide. Let's make it, let's, let's go a nice 10 inch uh, uh, radius there. We're using the mouse wheel again to scroll in and out. Um, and SolidWorks is great. Whenever you have your mouse over, that's what it's going to zoom in on towards. So you have you can either just select this uh, and change the actual dimension yourself, or you can grab here and it gives you a nice little ruler. It shows you gives you an idea of uh, how big you're going to make it. So let's go back, change that to 10. You have your blind up to vertex up to surface. We can get up into some more details about that later on. You go ahead and make this direction two. Well. That's just using the middle mouse wheel press down. That's just gonna go, okay, so here's our sketch. Let's say, you know, it's gonna come out. Let's say this goes out another 0.5 inches. Go ahead, hit OK. And there you go. Beautiful little cylinder there. Um, 10 and a half inches long. So, you know, I didn't like that. Let's say I want this board out. So I'm gonna go ahead, move this around. Click on this top surface, hit the space bar, hit normal, oops, hit normal to. Uh, I'm going to zoom out just a little tad bit here. So we have a three inch diameter. You know, to me, okay, so this sounds like, let's make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to bore this out. So here's, uh, I, I selected the circle tool, um, and it's asking me to select a plane. So we're going to go ahead, select this top plane, use our origin as our datum, pull this out, any arbitrary length, go to, uh, whoops. Can't cancel that. Hit sketch. Let's smart dimension this. Well, let's make it two inches. I like that. Have a one inch uh, tubing. And no, it is already now. It, it's black, so it is uh, fully defined. Go ahead and hit OK on that. Otherwise, you could left click the uh, adder's ring and then left click the adder ring of the large, larger circle and have all these options. Let's make it concentric. I mean, it's already implied. Um, we don't want equal in this case, but uh, his concentricity is fine. Um, so we're we're gonna go ahead and actually go to features now. We're gonna make an extruded cut. You know, I don't I don't like that it's all the way through. So let's make it. Uh, remember, we leave that little bottom part down there. So another half an inch. So 10.5 inches. Um, that'll be a blind. Um, otherwise, let's say uh, let's I can even put this at one inch. And just barely cut in, but then we have this nice little feature. Let's cut through everything. Let's cut through everything in this plane. 
that happens on the tree. So let's, uh, what I mean by that, let me hit OK. If I were to make any sketches below this cut, it would still show up. But if I were to make it uh, before the cut, it would still cut, the object would get cut through. So let me, let me explain. Uh, let's see. You know what, actually, I think that's good. Um, for now, we can get into more detail on that later. So basic cut, uh, extrusion, and uh, extruded cut. Um, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, thanks for watching.